Hello and welcome to Access 2007 Tutorials. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a data entry form. Um, if you want to play along, follow the link below the video and go to the download section of the website and download DB Repairs 10. Okie dokie, right. What do I mean by data entry form? With the term data entry form I basically mean uh, a form where you can enter or modify a single record. So, um, if you open up the database, you will see the first thing, or the fir first things first, you will see uh, this repairs form, which is a split form, which kind of neatly highlights my point. In the top half, you've got a data sheet, which has multiple rows, so multiple records you can see at any one time. In the bottom half, you can only see one record. And as I change it in the top half, as I change the focus from one record to another, uh, the information is changing. So what I'm interested in is creating essentially a data entry form using uh, this kind of style um, and not displaying multiple records. So how do we do that? Well, the really, 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 really easy way to do that is to uh, click on the data set that you want. So it can be a table, uh, obviously, but it can also be a query. So let's say table customers, which is what I want to make and go to create and just hit form and then lo and behold you have created a data entry form and everything's wonderful um, but sometimes you want a little bit more control over what you're doing and moving fields around on a form where it's got an existing data set can be a bit of a pain so i don't always like to do it like that so right click and close this and don't save it i'm going to do it in a slightly different way go to create go to um, form design and click it and it just creates a completely blank form so if we go to form view you have got a very 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 blank form okay so first of all let's save it call it form customers okay and first thing i always like to do with these forms is to get rid of this bar over here so there's no need for that to be on there. That's really for multiple item forms. So on the property sheet, select form and go record selectors, no. Um, the other thing I like to do while I'm here straight away is change auto center to yes. So that if we make it pop out, it will pop out in the middle of the application, not over on the top left. All right, so we've got the start of the form and I want to, because I've got in table customers, you know, I've. I, I've got a fair few fields. Uh, I'm going to create a tab control and form customers. I'm going to go to design and I'm going to choose from here the tab control, which is this one. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it into the form. Out there. I'm going to close that off. Okay, so what is a tab control? Well, a tab control uh, is really something that helps with the layout because it essentially means you don't have to have all the controls on the form visible all the time and you use tabs funny enough uh, so I'm going to change the name and add another tab and you'll, de you'll get the idea and no no problem so page one uh, at the moment in the property sheet we've got tab control if you click just below page one select page one go to other and we'll change the name to D oh no change the name to name funny enough now click in page two and we will change the name to um, address and right click in page two and go insert page and change this name to uh, contact details okay so I've got three tabs and whatever I put within the tabs will only show up when that tab is selected so anything I put under name will only show up when I've selected the name tab same for address same for contact details like I said it's just a way of uh, making it so you don't have to have all displays on the form visible all the time okay so we've got the basic idea of the form we've got a tab control how do we associate a data set with the form because we didn't click on it and then create the form what we do go to the property sheet click on form go to data and under record source we select table customers and we have now associated the data set of table customers with this form which means on the ribbon under the design tab we can go add existing field and i can add any of the fields from 
table customers, which I shall do by clicking on customer ID, dragging it in there, and I'm going to click and drag first name and last name. Now, as you're probably aware, if you've got eyes, they haven't really um, placed themselves on the form in the most optimal way. I'm going to click down here and I'm going to click and drag, go to arrange, and then go stacked. And it sort of nicely arranges them. I'm going to press F4, property sheet, and go to format, and I'm going to change the height to 0 0.6, a little bit bigger. And on the arrange tab of the ribbon, control padding, I'm going to go medium. So I get a little bit of space between them. Um, and I'm also, well, I'll show you what it looks like first of all. So that's what that looks like, which is great. But if you want to make really nice looking ones, click and drag just below. So you've highlighted the three text boxes and on the property sheet, special effect under format and go sunken. So you get that nice sunken text box effect. Go to design view. Okay. So address, I'm going to do exactly the same, add existing fields. And I'm going to want address one, address two, address three, uh, postal zip code. Click and drag. Arrange, stacked. Use the little cross thing there. And just drag them over. Again, F4, height 0 0.6. Uh, control padding is medium and click and drag here and special effect should be sunken. Now I'm going to contact details and we can do exactly the same thing again. Design, add existing field and we want telephone, mobile and email. Click and drag, stacked vote to the top left f4 uh, 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 am i doing height 0 0.6 and we want to change this to sunken and forgot one thing what was that oh, yeah, padding change the padding to medium okay and save that and let's just change it to form view and have a look okay so that's pretty nice um one other thing we can do, I like to use a consistent color scheme. And we chose this color scheme for this form. So if we click in a well, layout view, design view, doesn't really matter. Click in here and go detail. Back colors, background one or background light header. So I'm going to highlight that, press control C, go to form customers. Go to layout view, go to detail and back color, control V. So I've changed it to the same back color. Now I want to make the tab, if I can select it, um, I want it to be transparent. Back style here, transparent. Okay. So I've still got the tab, but I've made it transparent. So it's, it's got a consistent coloring style. I mean, you might actually want to leave the tab white as it was, um, but I tend to prefer to do, do it like this. Okay, right. So that's that. Now, the next thing we need to do uh, is property sheet form, and we'll just change the caption. Captions, what you see here. Obviously, I don't want it to say form customers. I want it to say customers. And if this is pop up, it, you still see that word, in this case, customers in the top left. Now, the last thing we need to do, because we've already got navigation buttons where we can choose the records we want. The last thing we want to do is add some buttons to save, delete, undo and close the form. Um, so we should drop it into design view and choose a button. Now, I don't want to put it in the tab, I want to put it outside of the tab. So whichever tab I'm in, that button's available. And thanks to the wonders of access, I'm just going to use this wizard to select the uh, things I want to do. So this is save. So say record, next. I would choose text. So it says save. This is what it's looking like. Next. And we'll call it CMD save. 
finish. Let's edit that. Okay, let's choose another button. So we'll say save, we'll say undo on this one. Uh, record operations, undo record. Now at the moment it's choosing that little swirly arrow. Let's just make it say undo and CMD undo and finish. Yep. Uh, we also want uh, delete. A delete record next. Again, I don't want it to say record, delete, delete, or delete record from delete record. What did I just say? I have no idea. Okay, CMD, delete, uh, finish. And last, but definitely not least, um, we want to close the form. Form operations close form. Now, I know you've got the little X in the top right hand corner, but sometimes people want a big button that says, or reasonably sized button that says close. And who are we to argue with them? All right, so we've got four buttons of differing sizes uh, in different locations. Now, I actually covered this in, I think, the last video, but that was click and highlight the buttons. And I'm going to give them the same width and height. Width, I would like them to be two centimeters. And height, well, they're 0 0.6. I'll go 0 0.8 for the height. Uh, go to arrange in the ribbon and go to control alignment top and we will click on close and just using the right arrow on the keyboard move it over click on all the buttons and under position in the um, tab under arrange we're going to choose equal horizontal which is there okay save that and now if we put it to form view we're able to move through the records change the tabs and save the records um, to let you know if you were to make a change and go oh no that's not the change one you can click the undo button that puts it back how it was which is kind of useful and you can obviously also delete a record now what I'm going to be doing with this form is I'm going to be call in the form from this button here customers but I want it to select say I'm in uh, repair number four well that customers Bruce Banner so what I want is that when I call this form I want it to immediately go to Bruce Banner where is he there you are Bruce Banner which I'll be showing you how to do uh, in the next video okay so that's been data entry forms thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next video